Joining me today is Speck Bowers, who's running for the New Hampshire House, Sullivan District 2, Croydon, and Sunapee. Uh, so, Speck, you know, uh, obviously one of the big issues uh, in the first year of the biennium is the budget. Um, we're starting out probably with an $80 million deficit um, from the loss in the revenue associated with the hospital tax. Uh, I don't know the technical name for it, but... Um, you know, they, they won the lawsuit, it was settled, um, and, and so there's going to be this budget hole in the next budget cycle. And I guess I just, so that's sort of the background context for all of this. What's your sort of general view towards how we fix our budget? Is it a revenue problem? Is it a spending problem? How do you think about the budget? Well, if you ask the guy on the street how much money state government wastes, the answer is 50%. This is nationwide polling. They ask federal government how much does it waste, 60%. 50% for state, 40% for local. Now, actually, I don't think it's quite that bad. Uh, but when, when people think that 50% is wasted, it's not hard to convince them that, gee, maybe we can cut 10% or 5%. Uh, so that's where I start from. Um, now, four years ago, we had an even bigger problem. Um, we had an $800 million hole in the budget we had to fix. And at the same time, uh, we were looking at uh, $300 million less coming from the federal government. We solved that problem. The problem we're gonna face next year is not as big. So having done it before, I'm confident that our finance guys can do it this time. And I'll have to say, I'm glad I'm not one of the finance guys because they work eight days a week, 25 hours a day, it seems. Uh, and it, it's, I, I couldn't handle that, but they- The Ways and Means is a, a tough committee to be on and finance is a tough committee yeah, to be they're, on. Yeah, they're both bad, especially the first year. Um, so uh, I'm confident we'll find a solution to the smaller problem. Now, at the time, there were, the opposition was saying, oh, you're, destroying everything. Well, the budget that Maggie Hassan signed this year and praised is $750 million less than the budget that was passed in 09 before we took over. And nobody's complaining that, gee, we don't have, I mean, we're spending a whole lot less money than they spent four, five, six years ago, and it's not a problem. So I'm convinced that uh, we can come up with a good budget. Now, it would be a lot easier if the governor would actually release the spending numbers. Uh, the, the, the finance people in, in the legislature have been asking for numbers for months and not getting anything. We've just recently gotten some numbers. Um, and, the, and the longer that the bad news is delayed, the harder it is to fix the problem. Um, so I know your time is limited, so I won't try to get too much more on that. So let me ask one question. One of the concerns that people that I talk with in looking at the budget and fixing the expense side is that the costs get downshifted to the towns. Um, is, that, is that at all a solution? No, it's not. And budgets are complicated, uh, but I still think that we did not downshift any in our budget. That was that was part of the directive. No, you can't downshift. And that would be part of your philosophy going forward. It would. Is, the, is that the state needs, that can't take its expenses and push it down the road to somebody right. else. Right, yeah. Um, another issue that's coming uh, is, I think, and of course we'll never know, but it's been here every year for the last 400 million years, yeah. uh, the casino gambling. Mm -hmm. um, where do you generally stand? You don't have a bill in front of you, but where do you generally stand on casino gambling? First of all, on gambling, you said casino gambling, but on gambling, I think you ought to be able to gamble. It's, it's your business, it's not the state's business. You know, the bills that we've had in the past for casino gambling, you'd be able to play poker in Salem. You would not be able to play poker legally in your own house. Now that's absurd. Uh, if gambling's okay in Salem, it ought to be okay in Henniker or wherever your house is. Um, if people want to gamble, fine. It's, it's none of my business. 
My objection to casino gambling is picking one winner or even two or three or four winners. Our state constitution has a prohibition against monopolies. And so your, your argument is by picking one winner, we're de facto creating a monopoly. We are. And it was, it was kind of strange uh, two years ago when uh, the uh, sponsor, the Senate sponsor of the casino, casino gambling bill made a comparison to the lottery. You know, gee, everybody hated the lot lottery, now they like it. Well, a true comparison would be just like the lottery. Any place that has a lottery machine could have a slot machine. That would not be a monopoly. That would be anyone can do it, and it wouldn't be, it wouldn't be rewarding a Las Vegas company for coming in and, and trying to uh, encourage lawmakers to do something just for that one company. And we've got about 15 seconds left. Um, <laughs> One other item, quickly, that you want to address. A health insurance. Okay. Uh, very simply, you ought to be able to buy whatever you want uh, without the state of New Hampshire saying, nope, you can't buy that, you can't buy that. In particular, you ought to be able to buy across state lines or even across the ocean from London if you want to. Okay, well, with that, we got to close. Thanks so much. Thank you.